Okay, so this is another little taping of just some guy talking, and I think this might be a little controversial. And if like if I am right on this, and I think someone owes me a little bit of money about what I'm about to say, but I love Pink, I love Rihanna, I like anybody that can put out a song and has a good beat and you know performs well, and I think Pink's a much more dynamic performer than Rihanna. Um, in some ways, I've never seen any of them personally live, but you know, I I like I like when people dance and put on a show, and I, I know Pink dances a little bit more. And um, anyway, all of that is inconsequential to what I'm about to say. So if you're a fan of Pink's, I apologize ahead of time. But as a songwriter myself, I have a penchant for hearing when something happened before, and there's this idea of um, subconscious plagiarism. It came up in um, it came up uh, George Harrison. Um, there's a song he did. I think it was um, called "Stuck on You" or "Set on You" or something like that. Anyway, he did some kind of a song way back, and um, they figured out that he had borrowed, shall we say, he had been influenced by um, an old gospel song or an old song that was. Um, by print, I think it was by a, <coughs> a gospel choir or a gospel singer, but anyway, long story short, it had been proven that the melody line was too similar and the song was too popular or, or he had been exposed to it enough that there was no way that he wasn't influenced by it and he should give at least some credit and um, some of the compensation to the original writer who inspired his song. Well, so I was listening to Pink's song, Just Give Me a Reason, and this is the song. And I don't own this song. I don't own Rihanna's song. This is just an observation. Right? But I want you to listen to the part where she says, Our Hearts. And I'm just going to play it one more time. Listen to the chorus. So, I, I felt like this song felt a little familiar, and in reading about it, apparently it was the original songwriting session and then turned into a real song, right? Listen to this song. Okay, now, I want you to listen to the, the chorus of Rihanna's Rihanna, Rihanna's California King. And just hear it again, that part where she says our hearts. Right here again, try it again. This one more time. I'm just going to play pink song again. And when you listen to him, listen. Now, Rihanna. One more time. So pink.
Just a thought, but mull it over in your head. Next time you hear that song, just tell me if it doesn't seem like too similar to just be coincidental. I mean, California King was a big song, and especially because it was one of those, well, you know, Rihanna usually has like one strong ballad from from each. I don't know. Tell me what you think. I mean, she usually has one strong ballad from each um, each CD. So that was like the one strong ballad that was released. I can't see how that, you know, I can't see how that wasn't maybe somehow influential. Just a thought. So my basic point to just kind of bring it home is that the similarity is the that melody line in the chorus and it's both in the part where they say our hearts and it's in the same place in the chorus and it kind of like does the same thing in both songs so I don't know just to me it's just like I, I don't know it just seems a little odd that it's like in the same place and it almost makes you think that if anyone either whoever is responsible for the melody or the vocal arrangement um, I wouldn't even necessarily say it's the melody but it's more the the vocal arrangement that is really similar and kind of like I think the thing is like when you hear something in a song that you like and it reminds you of another song it kind of makes you like that song already it's sort of like when you see someone that looks like a friend of yours you kind of like them or you're drawn to them because they're like your friend even though they aren't your friend so maybe I'm reading into this too much but it's been bugging me for the last week and I finally figured it out a couple days ago what song I'd heard that in so you know tell me what you think